So welcome back to U Regina 120. I think you probably got the drill by now. If you haven't, I encourage you to go watch some of the other videos in this series. Uh, they are kind of valuable, uh, and you're getting the benefit of having access to a degree full of knowledge without, or, or at least a small subset of a degree full of knowledge, without paying the tens of thousand of dollars uh, that it costs you to get it. Uh, so today we're going to be talking about the concept of a backup space. I don't really know what to really name this, but the basic idea is to have a place to go, a place to live specifically, a place that you can go if your current living space falls through. So for example, if you get into a big enough fight with the people you live with that you should be able to just pack up and go. Uh, if I, I encourage you to go listen to the um, uh, uh, body, Wear Body Armor rant by Sean Kennedy, uh, which is that I wouldn't necessarily believe everything in that rant, uh, and it may be kind of hard to get in the post-C51 uh, Canada, uh, but at least it's, it's got some good advice in the, the idea of have a backup. Uh, make sure that no matter what you rely on in your life, that you at least seriously think about, if it's necessary for your survival, that you have a backup plan for it. And a place to live is something, that, especially in the prairies in Saskatchewan and Thunder Bay out here as well, you know, if, you, if you're exposed to the elements, the elements will kill you. And so you just don't want to be caught without a place to live for an extended period of time. And so you want to have a place to go. And so one thing that uh, is unfortunate is what's different between now and say 15 years ago is 15 years ago, uh, you at least had the option that if you, know, you had to escape your house for a night, uh, that the university was usually open 24-7. And maybe, I, I don't know about the local university, but uh, in general, it seems like uh, the universities that I've encountered are, are closed now. Uh, they're no longer 24-7 entities. So you want to make sure that in addition to having access to your place that you're renting or that you're crashing on or maybe your Airbnb or whatever on, the modern uh, way of living, regardless of what custom or practice or uh, tool you're using to, to have a place to rest your head at night, make sure that there's another option always available, uh, another option for you to go to. If you don't have, you know, an option at all and you're homeless, well, well, your first step is to get an option and to find a space that you can be at. Uh, and then the next step after that is once you've got that under control, uh, start looking immediately for another place, another possible situation where in case things go wrong, you could go. Because if you don't, the people around you might know this, and if they're not all that altruistic, uh, you could get into a situation where they will exploit that fact, exploit you, uh, possibly up to and including physical and uh, other kinds of abuse. Uh, and you really don't want to put yourself in a situation where that is likely or, or even plausible. And so make sure that regardless of where you are, regardless of how comfortable you are, you've got your AWOL bag, you've got your uh, backup in other areas, and specifically a place to stay, a place to go, a friend that you can talk to in case of emergencies so that you can be there uh, in event of something going wrong. When I was in university, there was a gas leak in my house and the furnace gave off really strong scent of gas Everyone in the house got dizzy. It was not a fun, happy time because it was minus 40 out and the university was locked. And so we were trapped in 40 below with nothing but a blanket and nowhere to go. So don't let that be you. Make sure you have a place to stay, especially as winter approaches, regardless where you are. Um, and on the flip side of that, if you have a place to stay and you've got friends that you care about, it wouldn't hurt every once in a while to just float the idea that there's this space available uh, that they might be able to crash at in the event of an emergency. So think about it in any case. This has been ten or, uh, Regina 120. Uh, as usual, if you have any questions or would like to talk about uh, you know, situations where you're caught without one of these spaces, feel free to leave any such comment where this video is posted. Uh, and uh, there should be a Bitcoin donation address at the bottom here so we can dispense good advice like this out. Uh, and uh, hopefully I'll find a copy of the uh, Wear Body Armor rant for you guys to listen to um, on YouTube somewhere.
I will see you next video. Talk to you then.